Bay here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Pittsburgh for the 2014 inaugural IFBB Masters Pro Show put on by promoter Gary Udit. I am here with your over 50 class winner, Rusty Jeffers. Uh, Rusty, you've definitely been around for a while, but the, the biggest thing is you, you, your physique doesn't look like doesn't look like you've been around for a while. And I guess what I mean when I when I say that is, you know, we see a lot of guys, you know, and, and they get up in their 40s and they get up in their 50s and they just have a different look to, you know, the, their muscular and the way their skin hangs and stuff. I saw you get second place to Chris Cook at the USA's in 2004 in the super heavyweights. And from what I saw there to what I've seen here tonight, you don't look like you've aged a bit. Talk to us and, you know, everybody at musculardevelopment.com about training into your age and how you've been able to maintain uh, the longevity that you had. Uh, but nothing's torn, nothing's funky looking. I mean, <laughs> talk to us about it. I've had shoulder surgeries and I've torn biceps. And I, th I don't think you can get away in this sport without getting an injury of some sort because you're always pushing it seeing how far you can push it you know that's part of seeing how good you can get is, is pushing as far as you can you know so i mean literally nine months before this competition i had shoulder surgery on my left shoulder okay. and so i had to rehab it so i didn't have quite the upper body size i really wanted because i couldn't go quite as heavy but i still maintained good conditioning and balance and i've been working on balance for so many years because when i first started um, bodybuilding my first show was like 1975 well back in 1975 everything was about balance and proportion about posing I mean literally a 30-year score was on the posing so we learned how to to do that back then and you know I kind of kept up on the the posing side of it because you know the they judge it even in mandatories is judging how you look in those poses so you better take it seriously if you're planning on doing good in this sport now, uh, now talking about doing good in the sport. Obviously, you earned your pro card. You know, uh, shortly after you got second place to Chris at the USA's, you've been at a handful of uh, a handful of pro shows, and you've done respectably. You know, obviously, you're jumping into deeper waters when you go into the IFBB Open shows. Um, you know, talk to us about your decision to come here and compete in Pittsburgh because it's been a little bit since you've been on stage, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a, f a few years. Um, I just thought that. I want to go to a show that I have a chance at because standing next to Kai Green and Dexter and some of those guys, I don't really feel I have a have a great chance. Just I just don't have that much development, you know. And for for my body size and everything and what I have to offer, I, I need a show that that's reasonably, like, I don't want to, you know, it's like, I'm not really like shooting for the moon. I'm shooting for something I can actually get. Now you're still you still maintain uh, obviously the guys will see in pictures and in the posing routines that we're going to be posting up on MD. Um, you're still maintaining a lot of muscle for somebody your age. As far as your training, I mean, have you backed off on the real heavy weights and in compound lifts and stuff, uh, more higher reps? What does the training look like for you? You know what? It's it's a little smarter. I learned how to get more out of the exercises without using as much weight, you know, and taking care of yourself basically. I mean, everybody's getting older, you know, and. You know, you need to know how to take care of yourself, and longevity is going to be the, you know, the driving force through all this. You know, you don't want to, you know, get to age 60 and go, oh, damn, I don't have no more knees, or, you know, my freaking lower back is totally gone, and, you know, so you got to kind of take care of yourself, and it's just more learning. You know, more the more years you spend in this sport, the more you learn about how to take care of your body and what things work and what things don't. Keep keep getting smarter and everything will stay together the way you want. Now, uh, now we, we hope to see this show back here next year. Um, is, you know, I, I know you hadn't competed for a few years. Is there anything else kind of on your radar other than this Master Pro show or is kind of just back to working out and doing what you love? Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on my personal training business right now for a while and just, you know, regroup some funds, you know, because I'm a privateer. So, you know, every you know everything that I do, I kind of sponsor myself on, you know. Okay. So. If we see the show back here in 2015, is there going to be a, a repeat run by Rusty? I don't know, maybe, but right now I just want to eat and relax. All right. All right, man. We'll let you uh, let you enjoy your victory. Um, thank you very much from from a fan and also a, a media guy for MD. It was awesome seeing you show up uh, in great form. Posing routine was fantastic, uh, which will be up on musculardevelopment.com. We had stage right, so you guys will be able to check out Rusty's full full posing routine. And I think you guys who like, uh, yeah, but I think you guys who appreciate classic posing are going to love his routine. So make sure to check back for that. But for now, we're going to wrap things up. From the 2014 Pittsburgh IFBB Masters Pro Show, this is David Bay with your over 50 winner, Rusty Jeffers, for Muscular Development and Iron Mag Labs.